Look at that. That's pretty amazing. Everybody in this room is responsible for that just happening. Pretty big job. And especially from our point of view, we want you to keep doing it because if there's no electricity, there's no point in having controls in HVAC. The problem is with this new product, project that you guys are working on, you've had to get rid of some maintenance fat, uh, folks in order to you know, save some money. And there's some people moving into some roles to take care of the HVAC who really have not been in that role before. So what we want to do is make it easier for those people to do that job as well as their job and have more time to do their job of turning the lights on because that's far more important. So if you'll think back 30, 40 years ago, as far back as it goes, to the beginning of controls, it was pneumatics, it all ran down into a basement, there was a panel with dials and lights. Um, the way alarms worked back then was someone would call Boiler Bob and say, my room's hot, my room's cold, and that was his alarm. So obviously there was a need for a change there. That's where DDC started. We've gone through several iterations since then. Where we are now is we have the ability to alarm trend, all these different things, and we get sometimes a little happy with all that. Everybody wants to know everything, right? You want to know as much information as you can. Well, there are campuses and facilities that have hundreds and hundreds of alarms, and what happens now is that that information generally gets ignored because it happens so frequently. It's not as urgent as we would like it to seem. So we've kind of come full circle now, and an alarm to a maintenance person at your facility now is, again, somebody calling and saying, I'm uncomfortable. And that's where we have, again, a need for a change. So as um, Kyle said in our discussions uh, with you guys, you, you've mentioned that you're, you're moving some, are taking away some of your staff and reducing maintenance budget to um, fund the development of two nuclear reactors. And that puts a strain on your maintenance staff, obviously. Um, and we've come up with three different solutions that uh, are that you have the option of doing. Um, one is to stay the same. Don't, don't take any action. Um, you know, the benefit of that is it doesn't cost you any money to, to do that. Um, the, the downfall of that is um, your maintenance staff is um, still, still overburdened. They're, they're working hard and not um, doing the things that they should be doing to help you guys save energy and decrease costs. Um, the second option um, is to upgrade to the new Allerton Ascent software. <coughs> um, what that has done has brought in some uh, advanced analysis and uh, trend log viewing as well as um, easier scheduling. So this, uh, this lessens the maintenance burden so that you can spend, have your maintenance staff spend more, more time doing other things. Um, however, this is still a little bit of a, of a reactive um, solution. You are you're still um, just reacting to some alarms and trends that uh, instead of being proactive and doing things to um, stop these problems before they, before they start. Um, the last solution that we have is the implementation, implementation of Allerton's new um, ACM, which uh, allows you to um, pull in other third-party systems, other third-party add-ons that allows you to do data analytics. One is what's the name? It's Gaspar. Um, what it does is basically helps you um, analyze what's going on with. Uh, some of the problem areas in your building. Um, it analyzes, uh, or you can set parameters on your on your equipment. And when it when alarms come and say your equipment is out of this parameter, it tells you that it gives you solutions. Um, proactively gives you a way to solve that that problem. And um, those are the three options that that we have. So. When we started really thinking about this presentation and, and wanting to decide what we we're going to bring to you, you know, the, of course, the easy thing would be if we're going to bring you the most expensive solution only. Um, and we